Greetings to my team of 144, all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 712-2019-1111 a.m. Many codes coming in today. The portals are fully open here. Many people have been sharing their experiences and visions they've been having for the new Earth and this event timeline as these portals are opening fully as we transition into the lunar eclipse on the 17th. So this, this is coming through for many people. These event energies, the Christ energies, the rapture energies for 717. Today, the 12th here, on the Mayan calendar is the yellow cosmic sun. Today we complete another evolutionary spin of the Zoltkin calendar. As we complete the current yellow star wave spell, we are ready to bloom and shine as we expand our light into the cosmos. Onwards and outwards we expand on our ascension journey as we claim our gift of unconditional love through our source. As above, so below. At Zoom, we have arrived. From the Dream Spell Journey by Valum Votan. Closing the 44th spin of the Dream Spell Zoken, Happy Magic Flight of the Yellow Star Wave Spell. Moon Genesis completed, Galactic Free Will attained. So this Galactic Portal is fully open, Free Will, will has been fully activated. We have entered into a new timeline. The merging of all timelines. Today we enter the final kin, 260 of the 1320 Zolkin matrix, concluding another 260 day journey, a galactic spin. This final kin 260 is a mirror of all the kin. If you add up your personal kin or any other one to kin 260, the result will always be your personal kin or the kin you added up to kin 260. Therefore, today is a mirror of your dream spell kin and everybody's kin. I am another yourself in Lak Ek. Today we complete 44 Zulkin cycles since the beginning of the first galactic spin of the dream spell matrix, which was set on 23rd of June 1987, just before the harmonic convergence. Kin 1, Magnetic Dragon. However, the actual dream spell count was initiated 33 days later, on July 26, 1987, Kin 3-4 Galactic Wizard, the reason why it is also dubbed the Wizard's Count, therefore the first galactic spin of the Dream Spell Zolkin Matrix started running on Kin 1, but the actual Dream Spell Wizard Count started on Kin 43. Today's milestone also syncs with Day 19 of the 33rd Solar Cycle of the Dream Spell Matrix. Remember that since the past... 23rd of June 2019, Kin 241, we have completed 32 years since the beginning of the Dream Spell Matrix. Therefore, we have entered into its 33rd solar cycle. Thus, today is the closing of the 3344 Dream Spell Matrix synchronization, which started 19 days ago on Kin 241. Kin 260, Yellow Cosmic Sun, Galactic Activation Portal. I endure in order to enlighten transcending life. I seal the matrix of universal fire with the cosmic tone of presence. I am guided by the power of flowering. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. So that still center in the middle is the activation portal, what we call zero point energy. It is infinite light and infinite life. Also in the 14 crop circles have appeared in France in the last 37 days. So these are more signs and symbols of this galactic shift we are going through. From Elizabeth Peru, breaking cosmic intensity. If you have felt a little on edge or like something big is about to break, you're right and you're in the flow of the current cosmic climate. July, the month of 2019, is for personal transformation thanks to the eclipses, the multiple retrogrades, and the energy surges that just keep on coming in. Now with only days until the full moon lunar eclipse, you have a clear choice. Get sucked into 3D drama or observe 3D drama and choose a 5D approach. So this is a choice. This is free will. This is sovereignty to choose 
the 5D consciousness and to manifest from your heart center your deepest desires and passions into this realm to manifest the new earth. Today's quick transmission is from Laura Pleiadian. They are with us, activating blueprints now. The many beloved species of intergalactic and cosmic light beings are all present now. The spaceships you see, and for some of you that do not see, are here. They are united with the Divine Council of Overseers, present now. For this is your activation. Throughout all existences, all aspects of consciousness, and their experience as varying life stream versions, including parallel world versions, are linked and connected as a never-ending stream of consciousness, unique frequency. The process of this merging of all aspects taking place through your ascension, your ascension experience, is the epitome of your conscious union with the divine. This is your heart's true desire to experience this sacred union consciously through form. All programming is wiped from your energy bodies, computer blueprint, DNA, and memory. As a vast computer of your blueprint, consciousness upgrades to your ascension reality and experiences knowing itself as its original state in union, your ascension is then complete. This is the Earth Incarnation Program. As an ascended master, you see and know through the eyes of the eternal divine, through cosmic consciousness, through being the presence that goes through you, all else gives way to this higher consciousness and mastery, divine virtues, all becomes you. And what now flows through you, your divine agreement, the being, the one, who became conscious of this. We ignite all the divine powers that be, in this the sacred chamber of initiatory love. As you shift and are transfigured into the awareness of your being, the glorious divine united one, the holy one, the one eternally that you are. And that's from Laura Pleiadian from the new divine humanity dot com. So being in the unity consciousness, I'm gonna read a quick excerpt from the book Oneness Through Russia, and then I'm gonna hit the high road to Cairo. As you transcend the circumstances of your drama and come to embody the energy of unity, your attunement to the higher frequencies guide you and guiding others who may be floundering by your side. Simply by being who you are, where you are, in this moment in time, and by sharing your truth and your own process honestly, you help the others with whom you share your journey. There is no need to whitewash your process for the benefit of others who may be inclined to be in judgment. There is no need to apologize for who you are and for the magnificence of your personal journey to oneness. By being totally authentic in your humanness, your human frailties as well as your strengths, your self-perceived shortcomings as well as your triumphs, your darkest hour as well as your shining moments, you set the stage for becoming the shining example of triumph over adversity with grace that you truly are. So we're in this time of living in grace, living in unity, through this awakening from the dream of the false matrix. You're right on track. We are here for each other. We're all in this together. The separation program is ending as we merge into the field of the one consciousness of eternal original mind. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me here today on this most auspicious days of these final days into the new earth, the final days of the old matrix. We are in Operation Breakthrough. This is the, this is the final time of the prison of the false 3D matrix, of the time loops, of the false timelines. So thank you all for all that you do. I'd like to thank everyone that are joining us on this mission for the Ecuador Healing Retreat Center in South America in the foothills of the Andes. The eagle will fly with the condor. The eagle of the north will merge with the condor of the south to bring the two worlds together, the yin and the yang. The yin of the south with the yang of the north. And we will fly together on mission. So we are using a CBD business to raise funds for this mission of the Healing Retreat and Sustainable Community. You can 
Join us on CBDPeaceOil.com. We now have a total of 333, the 333 members, which is the 3, 6, and 9, which is very auspicious sign here. We are breaking on through to the other side, brothers and sisters of light. So please share your experiences in the comments below these videos on what you're experiencing through these final shifts, through these final event energies, as we reach critical mass and we break on through to the other side, or what we say in the Buddhist philosophy, the other shore, gate gate, para gate, para sam gate, bodhisvaha, avelokitesvara, the bodhisattva of compassion. Be in the peace and the light and the love of the one divine source manifesting through the Mother, Father, God. I and my Mother, Father, God are one here now in this body where I always am. I love you all. Namaste.